uh, we're not even gonna have Instagram madness today, cause uh, yo, after this topic, I'm not even gonna want to talk anymore, man. Okay? All right, so I oh my fucking god, I Carly bro, yo, Carly is the most annoying fucking character I've ever fucking witnessed on a fucking TV show, bro. First of all, they have the worst group of friends ever. Sam is mad disrespectful to Freddie. Uh, Sam, I mean, Carly let Sam be disrespectful to Freddie. Sam acts like, I mean, why do I keep confusing Carly with Sam? Carly acts like everybody's mother. Sam is just a dirty ass hood rat. Now, I know people from the hood that don't be dirty like Sam. She be, yo, she be eating french fries out her bra. She be fucking... What else she be do? <sighs> Let me think. I think she licked her hands to wash them. She. Uh, oh, where she ate a, like a burger out of the garbage can. Yo, she she just be wailing, bro. 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 And that's a. An- Yo, I Carly's low key races. And y'all love that show. Y'all, uh, first of all, <laughs> we have a theory that Sam was supposed to be a little black girl, but they didn't want to make it too obvious, so they did Sam instead, all right? And the first hint was she was from the hood, all right? That was number one, and that was very obvious because she was mad poor, all right? And and y'all like saying that black people are poor. I know that's a very, very I don't like saying that. Oh, I really hated saying that, but that was hint number one. At first, I thought she was just some white trash because we were saying, like, damn, like, Sam is some white trash, but, like, then it got deeper. Anyway. Yo. <laughs> Sam's a broke bitch. Yo, she be going to... <laughs> she just be going to people's houses to just... I, first of all, I don't blame her for this. If she's going to people's houses to eat, it's because her mom's neglecting her. And it's funny because they think that's funny. Every time Sam says something about her mom abusing her or not eating at home, there's a laugh track. Which means that America thinks that poverty's funny. It's not funny, all right? Y'all, especially y'all fat niggas. If somebody said that y'all couldn't eat, y'all would have a damn fit. And that's some people's lives, all right? That's some people's lives. They had an overnight... Yo, this was the craziest part. Freddie recorded one clip of them doing some retarded shit. And it got like 3 billion views overnight. And then they started a web show the day after. I was like... That's because... Oh yeah, the racist stuff. I'm going to get into that. And and Sam being a black girl. I'm going to get deeper into that later. What's it called? They were overnight success. They started a web show basically on the fly and they learned they basically became the the kings of whatever version of YouTube that was. And the 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 next runner up on that platform was Fred. Annoying annoying ass Fre- yo. I'm not even going to talk about that episode and nothing like that. Um and it's funny. They predicted the transition from cable to the internet and i say that because excuse me i say that because i remember she made a a a joke like um and mind you i carly was aired when people were still watching tv she says something like who watches tv anymore or everybody or who's gonna be watching tv a few years from now or bro mind you the entertainment industry moves as a unit they knew that they were gonna move from cable to eventually having everything streamed through the internet or having all of the main content or the main focus on the internet. Mind you, there's still very good TV shows that we can find if you search, but I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not really a, a channel surfer like that. I don't really, I can't really remember the last time I caught on the cable box. <coughs> what was that? I don't got the virus. Anyway. Actually, at my house, I, we don't even got cable no more. We got rid of that. We just have the internet. So, I'm cool with that. Because I, I just watch YouTube all day anyway. So. Yo. This is. Yo. I, Carly, even though I love this show. It's a part of our childhood or whatever. Why is it that this show 
had one of the worst laugh tracks ever. This goes back to when they were laughing at Sam being poor and shit like that. Um, <clears throat> like, I re- I remember they would just be saying simple stuff like, like you do you want a smoothie? <laughs> like, what's so funny, my nigga? Like, I want a smoothie, nigga. Is that funny to you? Like, I want a blended smooth, like a blended fruit beverage. That's all I want. And you think that shit is funny? Or, uh, let me think. I remember, do do y'all remember the episode they got kidnapped, bro? They thought that when she was, like, banging on the, like, when they had them trapped in, when she had them trapped in the studio, and she was banging on the glass and just being crazy, there was a laugh track for that. Like, that's not funny, nigga. That was a scary-ass episode, bro. We were watching that, bro, the whole entire time. We had... you know how you have your blanket up to your chin when you be watching a scary movie? I feel like I was low-key watching it like that the whole time. I felt like I was trapped in the damn studio with it. I was like, yo, what the fuck? you like, this episode's not funny. Like, this show, like, that, that's when I finally was like, yo, this show is not for kids, my nigga. Like, <clears throat> shit is mad scary. Anyway. Yo, another issue I have with this show is... This show promotes emasculation OD. I hate that shit. Like, Freddy's a little bitch. Yo, he's he's such a simp, bro. Like, Carly don't like him. And he never had a problem getting girls, I don't think. And Sam obviously likes him. And he's still simping over Carly for years and years. And the once, yo, I remember when he jumped in front of a truck for Carly, which was cool. I don't care. He saved her life. And then Carly wanted to be with him. I was like, how do you not realize she only wants to be with you? Cause your ass jumped in front of a fucking truck. You had to jump in front of a truck to be with this girl. Do you, (laughs) do you know what else you're going to have to be with her to keep her, bro? You, You don't have to jump in front of a truck, a bus, a car. When you run, <clears throat> when you run out of those vehicles, you are gonna have to get, I don't know, hit by a boat. Like that's all the stuff you are gonna have to do to keep her. You gonna have to jump on a grenade for her, like you Bruno Mars or some shit like that, bro. And I feel like that subconsciously programmed some of the little kids watch, little little boys watching that shit. Like, ooh, if 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 I stay persistent like Freddie, no, don't stay persistent like Freddie. If she don't want to be with you, then. <clears throat> Hey, her loss. If you really feel if you feel that you're that special that she needs to be with you, then it's her loss that if, if she don't want to be with you. You know it is what it is. Um I'm going to get back to this racist <coughs> racist undertone. Um First of all, I'm a, the racist undertone and the Sam thing is like intertwined. Sam has an obsession with eating fried chicken. All right? Remember, she's poor, has an obsession with eating fried chicken. Um what else? She knows she she's I think she's been in juvie before. Um <clears throat> I for, what she did something mad. Oh. That was that was the biggest hint right there. Do y'all do, do y'all remember the episode where she was in the pageant? Sam had rhythm like a motherfucker, nigga. What white people you know with rhythm, my nigga? No, nobody, nigga. Nobody, nigga. When she started dancing, bro, that's when I knew Sam's black, bro. Fuck out of here, bro. I was like, that's when Sam. I was like, Sam's supposed to be a little black girl. Yo, I know there's about to be some white knight in the fucking comment like, No, she was obviously a white girl. You didn't wa-. Like, obviously, nigga, it's just a joke. Fuck off my podcast with that shit. Your titties in a bunch. Anyway. <laughs> what? My baby breathing mad hard over there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Yeah. that That's I, Carly, for... Yo. Before I leave, I'm going to talk about iCarly and I think the biggest, biggest issue I have with the show. iCarly and her friends don't know how to mind their own goddamn motherfucking business, bro. Like, 
Sorry, guys. I got to just clear my throat, OD, because I'm getting towards the end of this podcast. Um, They don't know how to mind their own business. Like, that girl that kidnapped them and locked them in the basement, she was mad, weird, like, dead ass. Like, I'm not saying that, oh, she was weird. Like, don't hang out with weird people. Like, no. She was weird, my nigga. Like, she looked like a psychopath on the email. She had no friends. And it looked like for good fucking reason, too. Like, once you really started to investigate that that character, she didn't have friends for a reason. Weird ass. Like, anyway. So, they they go, they go they were going out towards where she lived anyway because they were going to, what, VidCon or some shit like that? It was like a, like a content creator event or some shit like that. Um, so, they go to her party, the, the weird girl's party, and then they're about to leave. But then she locks him in the basement because they wanted to stay a few minutes, a few minutes late. Carly, Carly's freaking stupid ass, mad sensitive ass, because they were supposed to leave and go to the hotel so they can go to um the event. So they needed to get some sleep. So Freddie and Sam are like, let's go. And then that girl starts crying. Right. And Carly's like, we can't just leave her here. I'll tell you guys right now. It's okay to just leave somebody there sometimes. There's no problem. <laughs> you just got to leave people alone sometimes. There's no issue with that. So Carly's like, oh, we'll stay for a little bit. Uh, we'll stay for a little bit. Uh. And then her grandpa fucking dies in the house while they're there. Man had an aneurysm in the living room. And then there was a laugh track over that. Hilarious. Anyway. Then there... um. They're staying there after the man done died. I, I would have left, man. So Carly's like, we can't just leave her here. We can't just leave her here. We j-. Okay, so now they're staying there for way, way longer than they have to be. Then they get locked in the basement because because Freddie wants to play around with the damn studio. I don't blame Freddie. I blame Carly, stupid ass. Because she always wants to help somebody. This Fred situation... They 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 started beefing OD with with Fred over some dumb shit, but Fred was doing it because he knew that he can get clout. I Carly's stupid ass friends, and didn't realize that it was all for clout. And Fred was like, "You guys didn't say that your guys are getting mad views. Y'all didn't check the view count. Y'all are bugging like." And what's it called? So. Carly's like, we have to go up there and apologize. We have to apologize. Because Freddie said he doesn't like Fred's videos. And who does? Like, that nigga's mad. At- Hi, it's Fred. Shut your ass up, bro. Like, you're mad annoying. Like, and he, he acts like he has, like, I don't know, like an ADHD or some shit like that. He's always jumping around and acting like a retard. Like, what's wrong with you? Anyway, so Freddie Fred said, no, Freddie said that Fred's videos are not funny. And then, um, yeah, Fred got tight on pu- in a public video. And then Carly was like, what's wrong with you? Sam was like, what's wrong with you? You have to apologize. We have to apologize. And then they get up there and then realize it wasn't even a big deal. Let me give you another. No, I can, go, I can do this all day. Uh, hmm, what's another example? <laughs> She's unfair. She just be touching shit and doing shit with, like, that she wouldn't like if people were doing it to her. Like, if you were touching Carly's items, I'm telling you right now, she would, like, kill you. She would throw you off a balcony or some shit like that. All right? So tell me why she needed to make a project and Spencer grew these two beautiful tomatoes from one seed. So Carly wanted to make a pesticide. Didn't test it at all. Sprayed it on this man's tomatoes and killed the plant. This girl is more retarded. You know, I I, I don't even think there's any comparison for how stupid she is, bro. 